Hello everyone, welcome to Nails and Sunflowers. In today's video, because some people have asked me in DMs, I'm going to show you how I would do a correction of a natural nails, where two of the nails have the length we want, but three of them don't, so we need to do soft gel extensions. Now I have done plenty of acrid gel and other kind of extensions in my channel, but I have never showed you how to do soft gel ones, because for short extensions, short being the keyword here, you can use soft gel. I did my regular Russian manicure. I'm not going to go into much detail about this, but if you do want a step-by-step -step explained detailed video, keep an eye on for my channel because I am going to upload a man manicure where the client didn't want any sort of polish on his nails. He just wanted a dry manicure to take care of his cuticles. So, my ring finger has the length I want, but as you can see the tip is a bit chipped because my nails are flat and thin, so I fixed that. Now for my thumb, the first way of doing extensions would be, as usual, just a nail form. This is the hardest way of doing this, but I wanted to show you all three of them. So as you see, these kind of forms have the lines to guide you where to cut the form so your skin around your nail doesn't push the form up. And now as usual, I'm going to use my dehydrator my primer, where my natural nail is showing. And I'm going to use this soft gel from Jimena Nails. Just going to apply a thin layer first. And with this thin layer, I'm going to extend the nail to the length that I want. Now you can see you should not worry too much about the sides, this should not look perfect from the get-go. This is not acrid gel, but that is the good thing about gel, that even though you might have to do a bit more filing, this is self-leveling. So you will see that comes in very handy afterwards when you want to actually give shape to your nail. Take your time. Just check the sides, they come straight out of your natural nail and that the length is the one that you want. We cure that in the lamp and we take off the form. Now you can see the sides are a mess, but that's okay. We're going to take more gel and just build a little bit the apex. Now these are really short extensions, you don't need a big apex at all, but you do need some to strengthen your nail so it doesn't break. As I was saying, this is self-leveling, so we can always turn our finger around like I'm showing you, so gravity helps us a little bit. And the trick is that you don't want your cuticles overflowed. Take off any excess that you see. You can see I added a third thin layer only because I felt like it was a bit too thin. You can just avoid this step. Once that's cured, we take off the sticky layer and just file the sides. I went for an oval shape. I wanted these to be the same length and shape as my left hand. And by the way, keep in mind that this video is speed up a little bit like most of my videos so they're not super long for you guys but I do not work this fast at all. I am working with my non-dominant hand so believe me this was slow. As you can see this technique it takes a bit more filing than I would like especially around the cuticle and since I shortened this a little bit I made it too long I also had to thin out the tip. You can just avoid this. So 
So the second way would be just the regular plastic tips. These are from Amazon, very affordable. And since my natural nail is longer, I did not apply it right on the tip of my nail. But if this is not the case for you, you should. Always place a tip on the tip of your natural nail. We want to cut these and just file this to the shape that we want, as we did with the thumb once the gel was cured, but this time we're going to shape it before. I didn't show you, but I did file a bit the tip itself because as you know, when you want to use gel, you always you always want your surface to be non-shiny and filed a little bit so the gel actually sticks to it. And I also put a bit more primer where the tip meets my nail so it melts a little bit better. And now we follow the same process we would with a natural nail. Apply a thin layer and then just add more to build up the apex. Again, take your time, turn your finger around so gravity helps you and just make sure everything's how you want it. If there's anything good with gel is that you can always remove it and start over. Practice and be patient with yourself. Now the third way would be the usual dual forms. You've seen me use this in a video with polygel or acrogel, hybrid gel, many ways to call it, but I'm going to show you how you can actually use this with soft gel as well. I sized my nail with a size that was a bit bigger than my natural nail, but remember you need to leave space for the product. And then I filed the cuticle so it was smoother meeting my natural cuticle. As always, the hydrator primer and then we just place the product in the dual form. and then put it on your nail and go cure under the lamp. Once that's cured, gently try to wiggle the form and it's just going to pop off. Now I thought I made this a little bit thin, especially on the tip of the nail, so I added a layer of strength, but you can avoid this. Again, we removed the sticky layer with some alcohol and we're just going to file like we did with our thumb. For my ring finger, I'm going to leave it as it is. I already shaped it, so I'm just going to follow a normal nail correction. I'm also going to leave you a video where I explain this in detail. And for my pinky, as you saw at the beginning of the video, my sides, when it grows, 
curl up inwards. So what I did is take my gel and do a correction, especially on my right side, as you're seeing my hand. So once I apply the thin layer and build the shape, I just add tiny bit by tiny bit with a small brush on that one side that I want to create because it's missing, let's say. You don't really need a form here. You could use one, but I didn't want to use one yet again. So I just showed you how I would do this in a more simpler way. adding and adding and make sure you look at your nail from above like I'm showing you right now to check if the shape is what you want. Once all my nails were corrected and extended I took the same deep red I'm wearing on my left hand and I'm going to paint four of my nails like this and my ring finger I will do in a black. I didn't want to go for the same marble design I'm wearing on my left hand, so I just did a simple, just simple black dots around. As I've told you, I was working with my non-dominant hand and we all know when we try to be creative, sometimes with our non-dominant hand it goes very wrong and I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> As you can see, I did two layers of both colors on all my nails. And then for my middle finger and my ring finger, I used this cut eye effect gel polish from Jimena Nails. If you don't know how this works, I will leave a link down below to my first ever video uploaded on this channel about my gel polish collection where I explain briefly how cut eye effect works. Then I added some black dots like my thumb and just top coated. I love this top coat from Gelish. It, it was my first ever top coat I bought when I first started doing my nails and I'm still in love with it. Same for this cuticle oil, which you have heard me talk about it in pretty much 90% of my videos because I just, I love it. And this would be the finished result. Just three easy extensions with builder gel and a correction of a curl nail. As always, everything will be linked down below. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you did. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!